Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby, and today I'll be showing a sneak peek of Kalitzberg, who was released just today. I'll cover her skills, ruins, hero properties, weapons, and more. Stay tuned for all the details. First, people may be wondering what hero class she'll be. I would have never guessed that it would be the second hero class for Ruined Knight. Thanatos was the first one, and now we have her. Tough luck, Phantom Dancers, maybe you'll get your hero class next time. She costs a hero voucher, so you can unlock her for free, which is great. First, let's take a look at her core hero passive called the Battle of Roses. When Kalitzberg causes damage to the enemy, there is a 30% probability of dropping a rose petal around the enemy, last 8 seconds with a maximum of 3 petals. When rose petals picked up or cleared, it will apply Doom to all enemies within 5 meters. The damage cost is reduced by 30%, the damage received is increased by 30%, lasting for 5 seconds, and the effect cannot be dispelled. For level 4, when Rose Petal is picked up or cleared, Kellitzberg will use Falling Flower Memories at that location once. You can see the Rose Petals on the ground, and when you touch them, there is that explosion, which is the Falling Flower Memories being cast. So I think having level 4 is definitely very nice since you get more damage. Next for level 7, after an enemy is in the Doom state dies, Calling Puppet will be summoned, lasting 20 seconds and there can be at most one. After the player in the Doom state dies, he will be resurrected as Kalitzberg, which lasts for 6 seconds. The damage caused by enemies in the Doom state to themselves is reduced by 30%. Summoning something after death is pretty funny and it works with bosses too. Here I killed the golem and now I have my new undead friend, he can battle with you, but sadly only lasts for 20 seconds. My initial thought is her core hero passive at level 7 isn't that overpowered, so that's good because even if you don't have it at this level, it's still pretty powerful of a class. Next is Flower of Hope, an active skill. Klitzberg rushes towards an enemy, hides herself in the next few seconds, and attacks the enemy 7 times. Each time it causes physical damage equal to 2400 physical attack percentage, and has a 30% probability of causing the enemy to fall into curse, which can be stacked 3 times. Each point of agility increases the damage dealt by 1%. During Flower of Hope, surrounding Rose Petal will be automatically picked up. The Ruin Flower of Hope Star Ruin also gives you more damage from Doom or Misfortune, the debuffs that she provides. So, having agility add 1% damage and auto rolls pickup is insane. This is a fantastic burst skill, and I'm glad that it scales with agility, which is quite easy to get. Here you can see me bursting down this boss without much effort. It is definitely a very nice skill. Next is Guardian Hachin, a passive skill. When Kalitzberg picks up Rose Petal that are dropped, the holy attribute of herself and teammates, Glory Knights, within 9 meters will be increased by 1 level lasting for 10 seconds and will be restored every second during the duration. Own HP times 50 life points in PvP or GVG the effect is 4 times, their recovery effect can be stacked. This gives some nice health restore, so it's a pretty good passive. Next is Glory Knight, an active skill. It converts the armor attribute of yourself and all teammates within 9 meters to holy attribute, and reduces all elemental damage taken by 50% for 60 seconds. The Star Ruin also gives the Hegemi effect, which lasts for up to 5 to 15 seconds. More on this later. Reducing elemental damage taken by 50% is insane, and this is for you and your teammates. This makes her a very good party member. The 9 meter range is also crazy. The Hegemi effect is another buff as you see in the status bar. It's not clear to me what it does exactly, but it does show up in the bar for the duration of your Ruin. Next is Thelma and Louise, an active skill. Kalitzberg strengthens her sword, increasing physical penetration and skill damage by 30%. There's a 60% chance of causing the enemy to fall into bleeding when attacking. The bleeding effect can be stacked. The strengthening effect lasts for 120 seconds. The rune also gives you up to a 30% chance of critical hit causing 200% damage. This kind of reminds me of Doran's critical chance effect from the burst rune. This is an annoying reroll since if you get 30% your damage will be insane, and if you get 1%, well, that kinda sucks. Overall, this buff is pretty insane, especially for Legend where you need skill damage and physical penetration. This adds a lot. Next is Falling Flower Petal, an active skill. Kalitzberg stabs in a 3x6 range in front of her and causes 1800% physical damage to enemies. 
she will automatically drop 3 rose petals around herself. The rune also gives you more HP restored. The range is pretty short, so although it can hit multiple targets, there are better AoEs out there. The rune lets you restore more HP for some survivability, which is good. Next is Memories of Fallen Flowers, an active skill. Klitzberg uses her sword to generate wind at her feet, causing physical damage equal to physical attack times 2160% to all enemies within the range of 4 meters every 0.5 seconds, while reducing their movement speed by 60%. The sword wind lasts for 3 seconds, and at most 4 can exist. The rune also gives you more movement speed if they're within the range. This feels like Heart Tornado or Slash Light. Doing damage in quick intervals is ideal for killing legend bosses and reducing movement speed is nice too. It's crazy that 4 can exist at once too, and this forms a nice circle around her too which reminds me of Card Tornado, except it can be convertible. Next is through the Looking Glass, a passive skill. Falling Flower Memories reduces the long range physical damage and magic damage received by all teammates by 30% and doubles its own effect. Again, she has a lot of great buffs for her teammates, which is fantastic. Next is Rose Secret, an active skill. Kalisberg will cause a physical attack times 4200% damage to enemies within 12 meters and transforms all doom into misfortune on the other side. The life loss received by this will increase by 30%, and all debuffs on the body cannot be dispelled. The duration of misfortune on the other side is extended until the carrier dies or Kalisberg dies. If the enemy does not carry doom, add Doom to it. Misfortune on the other side has all the effects of Doom and does not overlap with Doom. The cooldown time is fixed and cannot be reduced. The Ruin can further decrease the enemy's full attributes. This is definitely an annoying debuff skill, especially since it can be used in PvP. Next is Rose Guidance, a passive skill. It increases the damage done to bleeding or cursed enemies by yourself and surrounding teammates by 30%. This is a great buff for you and your teammates who are dealing with bleeding or cursed targets. Maybe people will use this more in White Star Airship since this class enables it, by providing a lot of extra damage. Are you playing 8K games and want to run your game 24-7 without affecting your phone or computer's performance? Try UG Phone, a 24-7 cloud emulator with ultra low latency. Here I'm playing Genshin Impact without needing to install more than 17GB on my phone. Then I click on my device's menu to bring up a variety of options and switch to my other device. Here's my Ragnarok mobile device, where I park my character in Void and other MVP spawning places and idle here all day. There are multiple servers in Asia and one for America. There are many plans available so check them out. If you do sign up, then use the invitation code WOBBLY to immediately get a bonus of 488 diamonds. Here I use the code then I can use diamonds to try it out for 4 hours for free. Diamonds can also be used to get discounts on paid plans like $1 off the 7 day plan. I'll put a link in the description, thanks to Yuji Phone for sponsoring this video. Next for Acer Monument, some notable stats are plus 54 hit, 10% penetration, 16% ignore defense, 12% attack, 10% physical damage increase, and for the next page 10% more move speed. Next is her weapon. Her weapon's name is Time of Birth, it is a long sword. It gives physical damage plus 1 and physical penetration plus 1 for each refine level, which is pretty nice. And you also get some physical damage increase depending on your refine level. For her tier 5 effect is pretty good since the probability of dropping rose petal when attacking increases by 20%, and those rose petals can do a lot of damage. Next here are the other weapons she can equip. They do include Thanatos weapons, the Holy Avenger, the Ninja weapon, and more. There's definitely a wide variety to try out, but I think her class-specific weapon is pretty strong. Next for a weapon creation, her base weapon uses these materials. Next are my first impressions. She definitely is very powerful. She has crazy high damage and it is convertible. She also has great buffs for herself and her party. Here I'm using a 70% depot account and she can shred through aisles. I'll be doing a more detailed guide soon, but the great thing is she's very easy to gear up and deal damage. It reminds me of how Rathgrissi was very powerful even without much effort. So stay tuned for her upcoming sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video please like, comment, and subscribe. Here's a video that I would recommend. 
And if you want more sneak peeks, check out this playlist over here.